But why are you here? Yes, I know there's been no new content recently. Uh, haven't had internet for a while for various reasons. So why are you here? Well, go away. Bye. I'm, just, I'm gonna read manga. It's a Rosario Vampire, it, it, Volume Two. That's it. Library. Manga. It's time to talk about manga. Okay. I said this episode would probably happen, but some unexpected things have come up. Uh, mostly that I don't have internet right now as the time of filming this. By the time it's uploaded, I should have internet, but I don't right now. So that explains the awkward angle, the fact that you can see some of my posters and other collectibles uh, in the background. That's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle from a loot crate, and that was like, the other one is a Rainbow Dash that was a gift from Mal for uh, my birthday. Was it the birthday gift or was it Christmas? It was my birthday gift. Okay, let's talk about manga I own. I have an extensive collection. I have a bookshelf over here. Uh, two of those shelves have nothing but manga on them. Uh, I don't have a collection as near as large as Mal, but I've got other things around my room. So, why don't we uh, first turn off the TV because it's giving off lights. The TV's right there. Um, and why don't we check out what I got? Um, start with the top of the pile. Uh, all the series that I'm showing you right now are some of the first ones, uh, mangas that I, uh, ever actually bothered to read and own. I didn't really get into manga until about 6th grade. Uh, and some of these look raggedy, uh, well used. First one's Desert Coral. First manga series I own. There's some glare there. Uh, this was the first manga book I ever bought and ever read. I remember this distinctly for two reasons. One, I have all of this series, or at least the three that were released. This is the only one with a red cover. They did this for a while, and then they switched to a different color for some, cover for some reason. Uh, and no, well, I guess a different color, color too. It's a fantastic series. I love it. I own all three volumes. You can see each, you know, the differences from one to the other. So I don't know why that uh, changed. <laughs> uh, fun story with this. So one of the guys who I was in middle school with bought one of these books. And I noticed he had it and I was like, oh, holy crap, that looks interesting. I want to check that out. So I went and bought the book. Turned in whatever crap I had. Uh, I think it was something to do with, like, Blue Dragon or something like that. It was something stupid. And I got this. Ten bucks. So, I started reading it, and I really started enjoying it. Uh, the dumb little kid in me, uh, at the time, read it the wrong way. Uh, if you don't know anything about manga, you read it from this way. You read it from right to left instead of left to right. So, I started reading it backwards, didn't get it, and then realized that I'm supposed to flip it over. And I started reading it. Now, I started getting through this book. And I'm sitting there reading it. And then, this guy I knew at school, you know, he, he saw this image, which is of one of the main characters right there. Uh, she's a cool character. She's also the chick on the front of the book. Notice that. And he got really super excited, and not in the, oh, I'm interested in this type of way, more of the shake weighty type of way, you know? And, um, that always stuck with me, because I was just like, wow, you moved to hentai really, really quick. And well, that I got older and figured out what hentai was, but, you know, he moved to hentai really quick. So, like I said, volumes one, two, and three. Um, this next series... Coincidentally, they coincide with each other. This next series came as a mistake. I ordered volumes 2 and 3 of Desert Coral. And they instead of sending me 2, they sent me 3 
and this number two issue two of this next series. This next series is Chrono Crusade, one of, if not my favorite manga series. Uh, it's right up there with Desert Coil. You can see these books are stupid worn, and here's number two. You can't see the edge damage and everything that's gone along with this. Uh, I read these and reread these and reread these. This was what came, and I started looking through this. I was like, this is really, really good. So, I started buying up the rest of them. There's eight volumes in all. I have all eight of them. Uh, and it's one of, like I said, if not my favorite manga series. Uh, you know, I... Uh, there's a lot of dust. I had all the way up to volume 6 for a while. And then we moved to where I'm living now, South Carolina. And I found 7 and 8 in a Books A Million. Oh, God, do I miss Books A Million. They closed it down out here. Which was stupid. Probably the best bookstore ever. Uh, so I've got books falling on top of me. Set these out of the way. So, I've really, really loved and enjoyed the book series. And, uh, I can't say I want more. I love the anime for it, too. I can't say I want more because the story is kind of conclusively closed. Uh, but it just was fantastic. Next is a, um, manga series. It's only got three mangas, but it's my favorite out of a series. It's not all interjointed. It's from the Dot Hack series. If you know anything about the Dot Hack series, is there's several, several Dot Hack series, and they're all kind of disconjointed and loosely connect to each other. Uh, but this is Dot Hack Legend of the Twilight Bracelet. All three uh, volumes of it. Fun fact. This right here uh right here when I was in high school in um, eighth grade middle school gave me a nosebleed uh, because stupid I don't know I was a kid um these next couple are a little disjointed for various various reasons uh, none uh, n mostly I'm lazy as hell uh, but this first one actually is an Amera manga, which is an American made manga, and it's an amazing manga that I cannot find any of the others for the freaking life of me. And I'm not joking, they advertise them like freaking crazy. They're in these books, they exist. Okay, they exist somewhere out there. I've seen them on freaking Amazon and stuff. You look them up. And they're there. They're like, oh, these exist. I, for the life of me, uh, cannot find them. And that is a series by the name of Heaven Sent. Uh, Heaven Sent is what they call pocket manga. It's for a. It's an odd company. Entertainment. Uh. They do a couple other things. It's a lot of Amerimanga stuff. And they're an interesting series. They have one series called Gold Digger, which I've tried for the life of me to uh, find. And they, they release some other actual hardcore manga. Well, not hardcore. But they release some other stuff that's, you know, manga from Japan. But this is a Amerimanga series. It's a fantastic series. I, always ha I only have volume one. I really would love to find the others. The next one is Mare, Mare, fantastic series, uh, volumes one and two. Why have I not collected more of these? I haven't had the money, and there's a lot of this series, like a freaking lot of this series. <sighs> Moving on is one singular issue of Inuyasha. Another series, fantastic series, love the anime, very famous anime, very famous, very awesome manga series. I have not had the time nor money to get all of them because there is a lot of them. I think there's like 57 volumes. Uh, I may be wrong on that one. Okay. These next two, I blame Mal. And here's why. I love this series. Uh, it's one of my favorite manga series. It's right up there with Chrono Crusade. Uh, but here's the big thing about it. 
I did not own one through six of these. Uh, but I read the shit out of them. I borrowed them all from Mal when, when we were in middle school. This was right around the time when we first met. And, oh, fuck. I didn't even notice that. A lot of shit on these things. They got, they, these books have a lot of mileage on them. A lot of these. Um, And I love the series so much. And when he only went up to six. And I noticed there was a seven and eight out. I went straight out and bought seven and eight. So I still need one through six. But luckily these are still in print. And that's the series Deers. Seven. Eight. Just to give you an idea of how many times I've reread these, right there. See what I mean? Um, this is just part of the manga I have. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut away, grab some more, bring it back over here, and show it off to you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, be right back. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is a lot of these series have a lot of personal meaning to me. Uh. That first shelf is probably one of the uh, most personals. Uh, I, the manga, I have more of a personal connection. It's different from my comic books. My comic books, I have a similar connection, but it is slightly different. Um, like the Superman Wedding Edition. As great as that is, and as personal it is to me, it's really just kind of a vessel to the character himself. So, the characters mean more to me than the individual books. With manga, it's a bit different. I have a lot more personal memories put into it than I do with the comic books. And I've got some great memories with a lot of these comic books, but it's the characters that bring back the memories and not the books themselves. As to where a lot of these books I can look at and instantly remember and get a nostalgic feeling from. Like some of these books I haven't really touched in a little while and I haven't really read in a little while. Which is a shame because they're fantastic books. But like Desert Coral, Kono Crusade, Deers, Heaven Sent, all those books, I read them religiously. To the point of um, I have a camouflage jacket now, and it's like standard military issue camouflage jacket. It's not in here. It's in my laundry room or something. When I was in seventh grade, I went trick or treating as a soldier, paid in my face, all that stuff, and I kept the camouflage jacket. I wore that camouflage jacket every day and be known down in Florida, even when it got hot in the summer, every day of 7th grade with a pair of jeans and a pair of hiking boots and in those pockets I put in three books Desert Coil 1 through 3 and Volume 2 of Chrono Crusade and they stayed in the pockets and I carried them with me religiously in 8th grade I kinda outgrew the jacket cause you know it's still growing and I carried these books around almost religiously and read them over and over and over and over again in 8th grade I moved to where I live now, so uh, there's still a lot of memory, especially when it comes to Deers, which was something that uh, really just eh. it's one of the first memories I have with Mal, and he's such an important person in my life that I can't imagine not having Deers in my life, because it's something that me and him kind of connected over and sparked, you know a pretty much lifelong friendship so Cheers to that. Okay, let's move down the list. Uh, the next two are uh, Omnibus, Omnibus, uh, which are just large collections. Instead of individual mangas, I bought a uh, big book that has them all in it. I still kind of want to go through and buy the individual books, but I'm just anal like that. So Omnibus Collection 1 of Owie House. Uh, like I said, big thick book. Uh, this is an Amara manga, and it is a very, very good Amara manga. I found this a bit later in my life, but it's always kind of means something to me, especially as a Yaoi fan, who, who just, the jokes running through this just click on so many levels. So, I'm trying to fix something over there. So, I have volumes one and two. I got in trouble at school a lot, because there was a hamster with panties on the back of one of these. Uh, so, I got in trouble in school. I got nearly got written up because of Deers, which was stupid because there was nothing on it that was a 
explicit. How I didn't get written up for these following series, I'll never know. This was a series that should have probably gotten me written up, and that is Girls Bravo. So, this was the first one I owned, another one of those series where for some reason I had Volume 2 first. I did read this, though. I borrowed Volume 1 from Mal, read it, fell in love with it, bought 2, then went back and bought 1. I have 3, 4, 5, I have them all, there's 10. I'm going to show them all to you because I ain't going to like that. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm on the head of the curve for some of these. Mal doesn't even own all these. He owns a lot of manga, though. Um, I don't know. I probably got him beat on complete series. He owns a lot of manga, but he doesn't own complete series of a lot of manga. I probably got him beat on complete series. I don't know. Uh, next is another series I really, really enjoyed. I read this first online, but then had to buy it. Uh, Chippy Vampire, issue number one. Only have one copy of this. Oddly enough, bought this while I was on a date with an actual girl. I've been on dates. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to go get some more manga. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I've decided not to bring off all the volumes of these because I've got so much stuff on the shelf that they're on. Uh, mainly tiny little pony figures uh, for my little pony. But uh, I decided to grab the three big ones because uh, they're kind of the collector's editions. They're omnibuses again, kind of the collector's editions of the series. The rest are single. Uh, so I have the complete series for this. There's over 22 volumes, and it. You hear that? These are big ass books. Uh, it's fruit baskets. This may be one of my favorite manga series of all time. Uh, if Chrono Crusades number one, this is without a doubt number two. I have the first three hardback. Uh, books of the series and then I have the singles for the rest of the series I would like to own just from a collector's point of view I would just like to own all of them in the hardback forms they had them at books a million for a long period of time I think it went all the way up to number seven for them I think there was seven of them they had them all but by the time I went to go get them they were gone go figure um and there's only a couple more left. Uh, like I said, I don't have as much monk as Mal does. He's got way more than I will. But let's move on to XXX Holic, a fantastic series that I need to get back to reading. If you know anything about Tsubasa, this ties in directly into it. I own the first three volumes of this. Uh, I'd like to own more. I'd like to read more. Kind of a dark series. Uh, next is a series by the name of Absolute Boyfriend. I don't know why I have this. I just have it. I honestly cannot tell you where this came from. It is just, it's on my bookshelf. I don't know where it came from. Like, it's just there. I don't remember reading it. I don't remember buying it. I mean, I have went through and read it some. It looks like a kind of like a series I'd probably enjoy, but I cannot tell you why I have volume 3. I cannot tell you why I have a volume of it, period. Uh, if I did buy this, and I'm starting to think maybe I'm blacking out and buying shit, um, why volume 3? Uh, the other ones kind of make sense because those were before times that I didn't know about manga websites like Manga Fox and stuff like that. This just was on my bookshelf one day when I was cleaning out manga and loading up the bookshelf. This just happened to be in the collection and I don't know why. So this is really, really random. The 
next two is a series that I found and have overread and reread and carried with me that I found in a special booklet for fruits baskets that came with the last couple last two volumes which have since been destroyed I'm really really sad about that but it was a little sample of booklet back in the time when they still did that uh, I think they still do that um it's called NG Life or no good life. Uh, this quickly became one of my favorite series of all time. I have volume one and two of it. I still wish I would like to finish it. There's ten volumes. I've read all of them. Um, this next series is complete. This is an odd one for very many reasons. One, it's the only manga series I or uh, Yaoi series I own. It's from a company publishing company by the name of. June. They publish a lot. I don't think specifically by this artist, but they publish a lot of this type of yaoi manga. It is an extremely good. Why is it? Pages are stiff. I don't know why. It has been around. It has been a while. Okay, it's been a little while, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to say anything about that, I just don't... It's called Ordinary Crush, it's a Yaoi series, it's it's published by a uh, company by the name of June. They have another series that I hope to eventually buy called The Tyrant Who Fell In Love, it's also a great Yaoi series. Uh, if you don't know, I'm a very big Yaoi fan. Okay, this little dent in this book is starting to piss me off. Um. I cannot for the life of you tell you where these came from either. I do know that one of these has a slip cover and it is volume one. I'll go ahead and put the slip cover on and show you. Has a nice little dust cover. Uh, volume two doesn't have one, don't know why. Uh, don't know where I got them, don't know why I got them, but I got them. Still a fantastic series. Uh, that's the whole complete series, too, just the two volumes. I looked it up previously. The next two are really old, and it's just two issues of Shonen Jump. Um, God, I could not tell you... During the time of the PlayStation 2, I know that for a fact. Um, I could not for the life of... You know what? It was the um, time when the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie was coming out, which I have on DVD. Um, So, I cannot for the life of me tell you... Oh, no. Uh, 2005. It says it right here on the cover. I'm a dumbass. This is... February's and September's version. I got this in a weird pack from the uh, the book fair at school. Back in middle school. They had a three pack. Some dude stole my other one. Jackass. He was a weird kid. Ate hair. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, that's all my manga. Uh, not a lot more. Uh, hate to say, but it's enough. I enjoy it. There's more. There's more. I forgot the newest stuff. Mostly because I have I only have a couple of the newest stuff, and it's set off to the side. So I'll be right back with those. Okay. There's only about five of these new ones, and they're really, really new, like brand new. Not like, like I've got them within the last couple months. Kind of new, so kind of forgot about them. And we'll start off with the top one on the list, the first brand new one I got. Um, And that would be Tiger and Bunny Issue 1. If you don't know anything about Tiger and Bunny, Tiger and Bunny is a anime originally, then they made a manga more recently and it is superheroes the superheroes 
and a lot of Yaoi references. A lot of Yaoi of them online. A good series. Next one of my favorite series is Monster Muse Me. Muse Me. Muse Me. Muse Me. Everyday Life with Monster Girls. Or as I like to refer to it, Everyday Monster Girls. Um, it's a great series. Only have volume one of it. Next is My Hero Academy. More superhero stuff. More and more superhero stuff coming out of Japan. Uh, not that they haven't really ever done superhero stuff before. They've done similar stuff. You know, you have superhero stuff like uh, Astro Boy and stuff like that. But uh, this is more on point with superhero stuff. Uh, especially in the United States. And the next one, my favorite one. Uh, for many, many reasons, but I love the movies. Here's the thing. I love Godzilla movies. I love the Godzilla movies to death. I enjoyed some of the King Kong movies. Yeah. My favorite of the giant monster movies is Ultraman. He is my favorite. The sh cartoon was good. The movies were good, if not goofy sometimes. Ultraman is my favorite thing of all time. So when I saw this series, I squealed, squealed like a fangirl. Ultraman. One and two. The only two I believe released at this time. I think number three. Well, number three might already be out by now. But it's a rebirth to the Ultraman series. What I love about this is it's a Generations thing. They've had rebirths to Ultraman before, but they've all kind of been set in their own little world and their own little thing, and they're more retellings. This is a direct continuation of the original Ultraman, with it being reborn with the man who is Ultraman's son taking over for him as Ultraman. Fantastic series. Uh, I love every friggin' page of this series. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so glad. I want more Ultraman. I mean, we got new Godzilla. We got movies like Pacific Rim and Pacific Rim 2, which is coming, uh, that I'm extremely excited and I really, really want Steven screwing around opening the door. I really, really want more Ultraman. Like, can't we just make more Ultraman? Like, why can't we just... Do Ultraman. I mean, you can make him a mech, and people will be like, well, then it's Pacific Rim. Well, you know what? It's a difference. What made Ultraman cool was he was freaking Ultraman. And you know what? If you want to make a movie based more off of this, where instead of him getting giant, and it's more of him fighting monsters that are kind of scaled down, uh, because they haven't really shown if he gets giant, if any of them really get giant, uh, they haven't shown that. Uh, they haven't shown, you know, if any of them get giant. But, there's a lot of kick-ass stuff. And if you want to do a series like this, where he's more human size and more ass-kicky, go right ahead, I'm down with it. I just want more Ultraman. I love the series, I've loved the movies a lot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this time's an actual ending. That's my manga. Uh... I own it, I love it, I read it. I'll probably have more. When I do, I'll update you on it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bye. This character, I kind of know me, being married to all my friends. That's the character she is.